good evening and welcome everyone for today's demo session on ccna training and how exactly we are going to complete and proceed this you will understand what are benefits you will have after it achieving or completing this training what values it holds in the market and how, how exactly you can start your career if you are a fresher in this field thank you to the platform of mind magics who have given us this opportunity to present ourselves in terms of the technology and experts about the mind magics mind magics is having nine years of experience in the industry it is having all the trainers who are having experience of more than 10 years they have a huge number of 110 plus corporates around the globe till now they have trained 450k plus professionals in 500 different kind of technologies for which they deliver the trainings about myself i hold 10 years of experience in networking domain in which i have worked under different kind of fields like i worked on a field support and to an implementation of network projects network operations team tag design implementation and it is still going on so with respect to certifications i do have my cci in enterprise infrastructure also i'm preparing for my cci in data center i am a ccnp certified in encore and data center as well as i am having my ccna in routing and switching which i believe i completed in 2012 so these are some of the skill sets what i hold and i work on this specific areas on daily basis but today's agenda we are going to learn the bgp water gateway protocol what are the interesting facts about bgp the features of bgp what are autonomous systems and what are the different types of bgp so bgp to, to give you a brief or in one line bgp is the protocol which helps us to connect to the internet around the globe for today course for the ccns course curriculum we will be having this kind of five topics in which we will be understanding the how exactly are the operations of data network what are the things under that what is osi layer how exactly intern, how exactly the computer networks came into the picture what is the history behind it then we will be have covering LAN switching technologies which will help us to work and understand the different layer 2 technologies in terms of osi what exactly and how exactly those work then we will be covering the ip routing technologies which will be moreover related to how exactly the routing works on the layer 3 part the different kind of routing protocols that we use same like bgp bgp is one of the protocol which we will be covering today then we will be having ip services like extra features or extra add-ons that are being used in the industry this ip services will also cover the security part how exactly we can make our network secure what exactly different goals we can achieve with that and then we will proceed with the practice test and interview questions and mock interviews and so on we will have group discussions on this about the ccn introduction this specific course will include what is networking how exactly we are connected to the world of internet it will basically this course will give you to understand the technologies behind internet how exactly to configure them to design them to troubleshoot different type of network devices in terms of routers switches with respect to what is what is uh, when we say ccna there are a lot of service providers in the market who will train you on the ccna but with respect to this specific course what we have covered you will have more hands-on the labs which will give you a feel of a lab experiences as well as you will get an opportunity to log into some real network working devices which are present on internet and can be accessed by anyone what is ccna in terms of it is a certification provided by cisco the full form of ccna cisco certified network associate so after attempting an exam of ccna you can have the ccna certification uh, for more details we have this uh, link in the description which will give us all the details with respect to ccna what will you get from the mind magic side is moreover a complete certification of achievement or completion which will be like if you can see in the image uh, it is a sample which you will get after completing your curriculum another random topics under ccna are moreover ospf one of the topics same like ip before we have ip basics then dscp and i will teach you to analyze and utilize all these things in your 
daily network like if you are on computer or in laptop how exactly you can see the DHCP how you will see how exactly the DHCP process works same way DNS is another technology which is being heavily used on internet and same I will I will teach you all these things in depth in this process in this we will try to complete different kind of projects which will be again labs with respect to every technology we will try to cover as much as labs possible because the only thumb rule to mastering something is practicing the more and more labs you will practice the more and more expertise you will get the more confidence you will get to work in a real network or work in a real lab environment real life environment the requirement for the ccna lab setup is moreover you need to just have a basic understanding of computers that is enough i5 processor should be there in your laptop with four cores and 8 gb ram is enough as of now to work uh, in terms of ccna when we will move to ccnp there will be better requirements which we will talk in ccnp lectures whenever we start additional resources for ccna related things you can you can refer ioc.com as one of the website youtube is another way you can go through this and there are multiple uh, multiple and enough data available on internet to achieve all these things there are some mock interview questions i prepared with respect to ccna level and how exactly are uh, these are type of questions which are being used or asked in the interviews even by myself with respect to doesn't matter how many years of experience you have if your ccna basics are very clear you can get hired at any level provided that you know what you are doing you know what you are talking in the interview if you read all these questions this is more over like what we ask in a daily manner let's start with the technical thing what we spoke earlier production to bgp what is bgp what is bgp is the first thing an exterior gateway protocol which is designed to exchange or uh, exchange the subnets when i say subnet is it means ipv4 address information among different autonomous systems on the internet these are the two very important terms in this case one is autonomous system second is internet and third is subnet which i will explain all these things in detail if we try to correlate this with real life example it is a kind of a postal service which is responsible to deliver the letters to the recipients using the shortest path and being in the most efficient and fastest way so in this case postal service is a bgp a letter is something called as prefix or subnet or routers is something which is a recipient in this case so if we try to implement it with respect to internet let's assume that you are a user who is sitting in india and trying to access a website which is present in singapore at this moment hosted in singapore so bgp will really help us to achieve this requirement ietf this is documented under a rfc 4271 so there are new words you are going through all the slides so ietf is in international engineering task force and under which it is kind of a documentation process which is being followed by the world so they started this with rfc 1105 and the first use on internet for bgp was 1994 currently we are using bgp version 4 which is under rfc 4271 you don't have to mug up or you don't have to remember this numbers this is just for reference if someone is interested to go and read more about it and uh, why the reason they changed the rfc number from 1105 to 4271 is moreover because of different kind of corrections they did and also this specific rfc is in alignment with cisco uh, common industry practices as compared to the previous one so the founders of bgp yakov rector of ibm and kirk lohit from cisco designed bgp on three sheets of paper which are still present in cisco's office these are the three papers if you if you go through this if you see uh, it is still written border gateway protocol napkin so interestingly this bgp is also known as two-fold napkin because every paper was folded into two and it was designed in 1989 and this protocol is helping us to be connected to internet even today do you guys have any idea how many bgp routes are present on internet at this moment let's check it out i will go on a live device and then we will check how many routes do we have present 
okay this is kind of a output the border gateway protocol advanced internet routing resources there are different categories under it as of now don't be bothered about much i will just show you how exactly the things look on live internet router so i will log into this device i am into the device now and i will put my your first command probably of your career if if you are a fresher so if you see at this moment we do have 838267 routes present on internet this is only for ipv4 uh, the value would be different for ipv6 i'll be talking more about ipv4 and ipv6 uh, later on when uh, when we will proceed with this course also don't be don't be worried about the different outputs what you are able to see here at this moment just just check, check on this path the state or the prefix received this is the value okay let's move ahead what are the different features of bgp so every human have a features same way every protocol have a feature let's start with first one path vector protocol so path vector when i say path vector what does it mean it means if you check in this black snippet on the right side we have these three numbers 7474 4826 and 133 so uh, this these are specifically the autonomous system numbers about which i will be talking in some time so it has passed through these three autonomous system numbers so it got originated in one triple three five then it went to four eight two six and then it went to came to seven four seven four it works on tcp port number 179 again you are not aware of tcp at this moment so we will go deeper into that it sends incremental updates uh, it have a policy enforcement so when when we say poly when we say about policy enforcement it it means we can tweak or we can play with the way we uh, want to manipulate the bgp route it supports cidr which is classless inter classless interdomain routing which is kind of a classless subnets it also supports security in terms of hacking or ddos attacks that can be saved and it basically helps us to communicate to form the communication between different autonomous systems till now i have spoken a lot about on our autonomous systems let's go and check what are the more details about those so autonomous systems are nothing but networks of small network if you can say that uh, it is more over in the diagram if you see as1 as2 as3 as4 and as5 these are the five different small networks and when we club them or combine them together it has become a big network which is autonomous system so how exactly are the more details about that so if you see here the numbering part which is as1 as2 as3 as4 and as5 these numbers are basically called as autonomous system numbers so uh, what are the different types of autonomous system number there are different values to it uh, earlier it was two byte autonomous system number then it became then they developed it to four byte and these are the different values under of autonomous system numbers what we are using on uh, internet there are some private autonomous systems which you can uh, you can't advertise to internet and those values are given over here so what are the different types of bgp uh, there are two types of bgp one is ibgp in which you form the bgp between your own autonomous system so if you check out the diagram in this case um, with the return value as2 those two routers will form the bgp with each other which is called as ibgp and then there is something called as ebgp which is external bgp in which the neighborship or the peering is formed between two different autonomous systems number and they help us to exchange the prefix so in this case let's assume that as1 is advertising 1.1.1.0 slash 24 towards as3 that will be achieved with the help of first ebgp and then eventually it will move on to the next router out the next as it will reach to the end destination in this case which will be as3 i hope you like this session and you will look forward to learn with me